Steiner's time with the philosophy of freedom got cut short after he wrote the book, after it was published in the 1890s, he bought into a magazine where he was able to present the ideas in the philosophy of freedom in the magazine. And he had aligned himself with the anarchists of the time, the, uh, the peaceful anarchists, the individualist anarchists. But at that time, the Russian revolution started up and, and the Marxists came along and they were violent anarchists. And Steiner got dragged in with the violent anarchists. He supported some of these anarchists who were the peaceful ones. But of course, it's like today, people get dragged in. And once you do, you're ruined. Dancing fear lab. You know, today you can be accused with a, associating with terrorists or associating, you know, with a extremist, and then you're ruined. Well, the same thing has happened to Steiner. He became associated with the extremists of his time. The philosophy of freedom got banned in Russia, where the Marxists were creating trouble. His magazine got banned. And then all of his subscribers canceled their subscriptions and destroyed his magazine. So that went out of business. The socialists today are creating a lot of fear with their political correctness. If you say the wrong thing, you can be, or if you said the wrong thing when you're in grade school, they'll come after you and you could uh, lose your job and lose your career. Everybody was very afraid that they could be arrested. So Steiner uh, fled the philosophy of freedom, which is disappointing. So he dropped everything which was really heartbreaking to him because he was really set for that to be his, his work. And if he would have continued on in the philosophy of freedom, he would have developed it further and probably would have produced enough things that would make it easy to comprehend it. And it likely would have become a prominent philosophy. Ayn Rand now is very common. Everybody knows about her and her philosophy. She spent, you know, a lot of time working, making that happen. Now, Steiner would have spent a lot of time working to make his philosophy happen uh, without it being cut short like he did. Then we might, everybody might know about it today. But after he lost his dream of pursuing the philosophy of freedom, then he kind of stumbled into uh, the Theosophical Society. At that time, about the only people that were interested in hearing about him, and they offered him a job and he needed the money. So he joined the Theosophical Society and went to work with them. On one condition, he agreed to take the job from them to help build the Theosophical Society in Berlin, I think. If a girl that he kind of had his eyes on or a crush on or something, if this girl would move to where he was at and join in the work with him, she was in a different city. She was part of that group of theosophists. When they agreed that, and she agreed that, yes, she would move to where Steiner was at, then he agreed to take the job and begin a career as a theosophist. And then from there, that led to anthroposophy. So it's a great disappointment. But thankfully... There's somebody named Jordan Peterson today who has really kind of taken up that work. Steiner developed a science of freedom, so it's certainly possible for other people to discover the same science through different ways. Jordan Peterson had his training in psychology, is a clinical psychologist, and he spent his lifetime studying human development and pretty much worked out what's in the philosophy of freedom. And now he's presenting that to the world in an, an updated version. But as I say, it's a science of freedom. So there's, there's no reason why other people wouldn't discover the same science. In fact, you'd expect that to happen. In fact, it has happened. You can go anywhere into philosophy of freedom and take a particular section or topic and then do some research on it. And you find other people are proclaiming the same thing. It's just that what was unique about Steiner was that, well, he probably was ahead of his time, but he also organized it all into one coherent philosophy. 
took all the pieces and put it all together in one book and one one world view. But if you look at the pieces, you can find them that they've been verified and confirmed and by many different people. Jordan Peterson, he's not it's not a, exactly a duplicate or I mean he's done his own thing, but I just look at some of his core principles and you find them in the philosophy of freedom.